Hello, today we're making hand sanitizer to help keep your family safe. This has 65% alcohol in it. Hey, Mom! I hope everyone is in good health and doing well. This video is to help keep you that way. The CDC states that alcohol solutions with at least 60% alcohol is effective at disinfecting against the coronavirus. They do not recommend people DIY their own hand sanitizer. That's not because it's not effective. It's because it does require a little bit of math to make the correct solution. But don't worry, I've done the math for you. We will make hand sanitizer with 65% alcohol content, which is better than what you can find on the market today. Just a quick note about alcohol-free hand sanitizers. Instead of alcohol, they use antimicrobial active agents to reduce the bacteria on the skin. This is not effective for viruses. This 50% rubbing alcohol is unacceptable for this recipe. By the time you add the aloe, it will be well under the 60% the CDC recommends. In this recipe, we'll be using 91% isopropyl alcohol, which is very strong. You may look on your hand sanitizer and see that it's made with ethyl alcohol or ethanol. That's another name for grain alcohol that's been denatured. Either alcohol can be used because they both have disinfecting properties. It's just important that you use the proper ratio. We'll also be using aloe to soften it up. Distilled water and aloe and other agents are added to help reduce the harshness and drying of alcohol. Be wary of this if you have dry or cracked skin. Make sure all of your measuring cups, bottles, and containers are all disinfected and clean. I prefer to shake the solution up in a bottle rather than stirring it in a bowl. I think that will help it get incorporated better. So again, this recipe is simple. Eight ounces or 237 milliliters of aloe gel. And uh, to that I added 20 ounces or about 592 milliliters of rubbing alcohol. I did go for a slightly stronger solution because my skin does tend to be more oily than most and also, you know, global pandemic. So, yeah. Make sure the solution is fully combined. If you do choose to add an essential oil to add a scent to it, keep in mind that you're going to have to shake it every time that you use it to make sure that the solution is above that 60% threshold. I even used the aloe bottle for the remainder of the hand sanitizer. So that completes the recipe. Uh, like, share with someone who might find this useful. Subscribe to Hey Ma. Everyone, please take care of yourself. Thank you for staying to the end. God bless.